Hi guys, it's Miss Josette and I'm here with this week's Kids Club message and we're continuing on with our series about love throughout the month of February as we're moving into the Lenten season. And last week I mentioned to you that this past Wednesday was going to be a special day. It was a holiday, right? It was what we kind of sometimes call a Hallmark holiday, but it was Valentine's Day. But this year, when Valentine's Day, February 14th, was also something else, something in the liturgical or the Christian calendar, and that was Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday is the start of the Lenten season. And you're probably wondering, Miss Josette, why are you talking about that? Well, I want to explain to you what Ash Wednesday is about and what Lent is about, because Lent and Ash Wednesday lead right into continuing with my topic of love for this month and the focus of love, because what God sent his son to do was the ultimate example of love. So I'm going to read to you out of the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter four. And then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you're the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command the angels concerning you. And on their hands they will bear up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus said to him, again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to them, and these I will give you if you fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, be gone, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. And the devil left him and behold, angels came down and ministered to him. Now, you're wondering what this has to do with Ash Wednesday or even what this has to do with Lent and the whole, the whole topic of love, right? What it has to do is all about God's love and all about why we are in the Lenten season. Now, at Penn Hills Baptist Church, we are not one of the churches or the denominations that has a service where they put ashes on your forehead. But in the churches that do, they put the ashes on your forehead in the shape of a cross. Now, the reason that that happens is because it is to remind us of that sacrifice of love that Jesus did. The ashes that are used in, in the denominations that use that are burnt leftover palm branches from the year before. Now, we're going to talk about palms here very soon because Palm Sunday is coming. But the ashes are leftover palms that are crushed up and bur burnt, and then the ashes are used to make that symbol on the forehead. But what that symbol reminds us of, the ashes remind us that we're all going to die one day. And from ashes to ashes and dust to dust is scriptural that from where we came from, we will return. We're all going to die. But when Jesus was tempted by Satan, this scripture that I just read to us is out of Jesus's temptation in the wilderness. When Jesus was tempted by Satan, he had never sinned. He didn't need any kind of forgiveness. Jesus never did anything wrong. In his whole life, Jesus did nothing wrong. But we do. We sin. We need forgiveness for that, for we have fallen short of the glory of God. All of us, the Bible says that we all do. Sin is anything that we think, say, or do that displeases God. Anything. There are a lot of things that we do that are wrong. And God tells us that those, there is punishment for the wrong things that we do. And one of those punishments is for us to die someday. So the, the, Ashes in the symbol of a cross is to remind us that death is a punishment for our sin. However, the reason that it's in the symbol of a cross is that to remind us, even though we are all going to die, Jesus saved us through the cross. Jesus saved us. And even though we're all going to die, those of us who have asked Jesus to be in our hearts, we're not going to stay dead. We're going to live forever with God and Jesus in heaven. And when Jesus comes back to earth at the end of the world in that second coming, he will bring back the bo our bodies back to life and we will live with him forever. There's a 
big explanation for that in the book of Revelation of how that all happens. So the symbol of the cross on Ash Wednesday is to remind us and to prepare us for what is coming on Good Friday and what is coming on Easter Sunday. That even though there is punishment for our sins, that God used his son in the ultimate sacrifice of love, that God loves us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins and take our place on this cross, that he was willing to sacrifice himself. That's an amazing show of love. And so just to remind you that even though we all have sinned, there is forgiveness for all of us. Nothing is too big for God to forgive. And so that's what the start of this Lenten season is to remind us of. And I talked about that Jesus had been fasting and praying for 40 days and 40 nights. Lent is 40 days. So in this season of Lent, we need to focus on God. Now, some people give things up for Lent. Some people give up chocolate. Some people give up social media. Some people give up watching television. Some people give up gossiping. Some people just choose to focus a little bit harder in their quiet time in those 40 days of Lent. So for yourself, whatever you can do to help yourself focus on God's love for you and what he has done for you in these next 40 days, that's what we need to do in the start of the Lenten season. Now, you might also say, but that started back on Ash Wednesday, February 14th. I'm already three days into it. That's okay. For the next 37 days, focus on what you can do to be able to remember God's love for you. And remember that when he died on that cross for us, all he wants us to do is to admit that we know we've done wrong things, believe what he did on that cross and choose to accept him. And then our punishment for sin is been wiped away by him and we will live forever with him in eternity. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the reminder that we have of the ashes. Father, for the reminder that we have of what your son did. Father, the reminder that even he took time to focus on you and to prepare for what he was going to do, Father. And the Father, that we can get the strength from you to focus on you and be able to focus on your forgiveness and your love for us. Father, I pray these things in the name of your Son. Amen. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.